Welcome to another Maintenance Monday, I'm Sam. You're probably thinking, hold on a second, Sam doesn't really do anything. You're right, I don't, but today I'm helping out. Why? Well, because Sandy's a little bit silly. Why is Sandy silly? Well, you see, here's the thing, folks. With a videographer, there's a couple of things you need to do. You need to film and you need to record audio. And Sandy, unfortunately, only did half that job when he filmed the initial Maintenance Monday. That's right, we have a full segment on how to fit bushes into a control arm and he didn't roll audio, so I'm here to run you through it. You're probably thinking, hold on, Sandy has an R32 Skyline, there's no way he would do preventative maintenance, he just runs that thing into the ground. I know, it's uncharacteristic, extremely, but that's okay. Here we are, let's run you through it. Now the first thing you're gonna need is a press. So obviously we've got one, if you don't have one, I definitely suggest getting one because it makes DIY jobs like this a whole lot easier and they're becoming extremely inexpensive. Our Mech Pro Blue one is the perfect addition to your DIY garage. Take your crusty arm, press out the old bush. This is obviously the nice new one. But the old one should come out without too much of a fuss and if you need, you can obviously use a bit of, have, uh, use a bit of heat to help things along. Once you've done that, in this case, because these uh, arms are from a 50 year old car, relatively ancient, some would say. Uh, we wire wheeled them back to get rid of a whole lot of crud, road grime and a bit of surface rust. We treated them with a bit of rust converter just to make sure they've got longevity. And then we used an engine enamel uh, to give them a bit of a lick of paint, make them look new again. Why did we choose engine enamel? Well, high temp, it's a little bit harsher wearing and uh, this is obviously gonna be copping a fair bit of abuse being down low to the road. So it was the obvious choice. Now, if there's one thing you know about me, it's I don't like to get my hands dirty. Heck, I don't really like to do anything full stop. And our uh, videographer, Sandy, remembered to do one half of his job, which was roll the audio this time. So, I'm gonna pass over to him. Super Pro bushes are really good and come with an installation grease pack. Make sure you put it on all the moving parts of the bushings, otherwise they will tear through in the future. So you push, the, push your old bushing out, grease up your new one and slide it on in, and there you have a nice new arm. With a little bit of time, a lick of paint, and some Yeah. So it really is quite simple when you have the right tools and a bit of know-how. Not saying Sandy has any know-how, but someone in the workshop did. And before you know it, you're going to be left with a brand spanking looking new arm and a bush that's probably going to outlast the vehicle it's fitted to. Now, if you do want to check out our full range of Super Pro products, including these very bushes, it's one thing you've got to do. Let's head over to sparesbox.com.au. And yeah.